Is that my bestie and Tessie? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, isn't that adorable? Is that your bestie and Tessie? Tessie? Tessie. Tessie. Oh, Tessie. 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 Oh, 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 Tessie
I find that when I see other girls talking about like, oh, I only date or like, even if it's not serious, like if I like someone or if I say I'm going on a date, you're like technically the only guy I'm kind of seeing because I, I only like, you know, like to date or talk one to or see one person at a time. And I just feel like there's pros and cons to both, right? Like having well, a rotation yeah. and a roster and right. also only one guy at a time or one girl at a time. There could be pros and cons. And I feel like both of them could be made to be toxic. Oh, totally. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Depending on, and we'll like get into that. Totally. So like a little, like I got out of a, like a long-term relationship. We all know this, whatever. Eden's like first experience with singleness is like fairly recent, whatever, a few months, blah, blah, blah. And so like, I've obviously dated and dabbled around and like had people, spoken to people, met up with people, whatever, like had my, my little moment. And I was just telling Simona, like, you know, you talk to like three guys and you're like, Hey, I finally got it down to like three, four guys that are like cool. And like, I can have a conversation with and I actually exchange numbers. We get right. like, the app. Like you already know. Okay. Like you're now part of, let's say a rotation, right? Possible rotation. Right. Okay. So like you're talking to them and the conversation's going good to the point where you're like maybe making plans with them. So right. you're trying to figure out scheduling and talk like whatever, what are we going to yeah. do? And like when and blah, blah, blah. And I, and I was like, someone, I was like, literally like, it's too much. Like, yeah. Cause not only that, because yes, you're interested and you like them, but then it's just like, I have to upkeep it because if you don't upkeep communications with the roster or the fucking rotation, they're just going to end up like fizzling out and dwindling out. And I've noticed on dating apps, when you exchange numbers and if you don't have continuous conversation for like three, four days straight and you don't make concrete plans, it is going to dwindle out. And I was just like, this is so fucking stressful because now I don't want to yeah. deal with any of you guys. Cause it's so unappealing to have to like every day, like clockwork, like a job, like keep up and remember this detail and do this and meet up with this and it's just like I get the appeal because I was also like ooh I'm single I'm gonna build a rotation yeah. I'm gonna have casual sex and casually date and then and you guys know me I guess if you've listened to the podcast and watched the YouTube videos you guys know that I'm like I'm, I'm like that I like that it, it's appealing to me whatever I thought it would work for me but literally when Bush came to shove I was just like this is too fucking much it's it becomes like you a can't lot focus. right like a how do you give how do you keep your day-to-day -day schedule, right? Like busy people. Like for me, I'm, I've become a bad texter unless you're literally Eden or my sister. Like I just can't. So if I'm not into you enough, I'm not fucking texting exactly. you. Exactly. It's too much energy. So for me, I'm like, yeah, I can't be talking to three guys at once because I am somebody who, if I like you, I want to talk to you and I want to give. And nobody else is appealing anymore. I can't, yeah. And I also can't give that to all these different people at the same time. Again, it's just like the 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 putting all your eggs in one basket. Right, right? that concept. Scenario yes. versus, you know, one, one egg in different baskets or putting your eggs, uh, you know, amongst other baskets. Exactly. It's kind of like that. When you, both of them can, like you said, be toxic, be bad. Because if you're right. putting all your eggs, quote unquote, in one fucking basket. Exactly. And you're like, okay, Johnny, I like him. I'm vibing him. So I'm going to fuck everybody else and ignore them. That's a toxic version of it. That's yes, extreme. Exactly. Right? Or or putting all your eggs in one basket for someone that you know is like unsure about you. Or yes. confused about you. Or leaving you out to dry. Or do you know what I mean? Yes. Like putting all your eggs in a guy that is just like, he's not worth all those it's eggs. It's not going like, to You shouldn't cancel out the other option. Exactly. Sure. Because if you do do that and like naturally if you're into somebody and you're like okay i'm gonna give this a fair shot so i'm gonna like put all my eggs in one basket i'm gonna give them all the attention i'm gonna maintain that conversation throughout the day check in like make plans whatever and you let everything else dwindle out what if that shit doesn't transpire and you want to go back to those guys chances are they may be you know what i mean like done and over with i mean not so much guys i think more so for girls right yeah exactly but you know what i mean it's all time sensitive too so it's like yeah. time sensitivity having a rotation girl you have fucking lots of time i'm sorry i'm not trying to be rude to like yeah. maintain this like, shit you you and also have, have like purpose. other things to do right like <laughs> oh do you're building you? a career <laughs> like you have a yes, job yes. you are getting drinks with your friends you're going out to eat mm -hmm. you're pampering yourself like you have a lot of other things to do so for me a rotation or a roster seems like a lot of fucking work work and just naturally it's just not my vibe like it's really just not so for me like to speak to the the all my eggs in one basket i think that i put my eggs where my interest is so for right now if i'm not seeing anybody or if i don't have a rotation or a roster and i meet someone and i'm like ooh vibe because i'm just so happen to not be talking to anybody obviously I'm going to give, 
you whatever I feel like I want. You know what I mean? Right, right. I'm not going to like go above and beyond for you. Obviously, there's levels to everything. So yes. I think that you need to work and build and the more that you gain trust and that chemistry grows and, and give a little bit more exactly then you get I you think, don't give yeah, everything all up once. front that's never good and i think that's a good disclaimer because you don't want to give your all to somebody that you don't fucking know they they need to earn it and you need to earn their trust yeah, and their respect exactly. and like their time and all of that stuff obviously but i think it's more so like being attentive and focused and, and primarily picking like that one person that you're like let's see where this goes because yeah. when you're talking to a bunch of people like okay how long do you talk to them for like fuck about what until you make plans and then see them and then once you see them i feel like inevitably like okay you can't be at two places at once like fuck you have you have a life like we said like yeah it's going to eventually like cancel out the other people on your rotation exactly do you know what i mean unless you guys and this is kind of like what i don't get but i know people do it is like okay. they'll fuck around with a guy for a month but they'll be texting like another guy just in case it's back up. Like also red flag toxic. Like if you need like yeah, a backup. Yeah, red flag toxic. I, I know a lot of people do that. The, the reason why I think that the roster and the rotation, I think it's just very hyped. I think there's nothing wrong with having a roster and a rotation. I think that doing it obviously in a healthy manner is good. But to use multiple people to feed your ego for instant gratification, that is not good. That is toxic. And like, it, it really is for some people an ego boost. Like, look at all these people that want me. Like, look at yeah, all this. Like, okay. I feel so good. But then it's also like, everybody it just seems like is treating each other as an option. So like, if you're not good, I'm going to move on to the next thing. And it's like, so disposable. At That's one, what I don't Yes. Like. And at one point, is that rotation going to stop? Like if, if you're training yourself to date like that, if that's what you're doing, right? And you're on space, like you're never going to be able to zoom in onto one person and give them a fair shot because you know that there's next in line. Like it, it's, it's a little bit much. Yeah. And I think that there's a lot, in my opinion, more cons than pros where I stand currently about having a rotation or a roster. Okay. I feel like not to say that old fashioned olden days are better, but think about it back in the day. Like when I talked to my parents, it was the, I'm seeing one person, you have my intrigue. I'm going to be quote unquote more committed to you as in like, I'm going to focus on you. I'm going to see where this goes. I'm going to give you a fair shot. And I'm not going to sit there and entertain every Joe Schmo. Yeah. However, right. And I think that that allows you to give a fair shot. If it doesn't work out, you move on and you start again. Yeah. Right. Let's say you're, you're seeing somebody like you like him. Things are like, you know, pretty good. Yeah. Everything's good, whatever. And you've gone on a few dates. Again, you guys are taking things slow, but then somebody else creeps into your life. Yeah. And has your attention, right? Yeah. At that point, it's just like, okay, because you guys aren't like legitimately like committed and dating, like you can see where the other person I goes. I think that you should exactly see where the other one goes. Um, just because that's that's a fair shot you're giving to yourself at that point, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's also important that you do and you give yourself those opportunities should they present themselves. Exactly. Especially if you're somebody who doesn't have that sexual connection very frequently or often. I think that it's, you you know when you feel it and when you have it with someone and to say no because there's someone else is a disservice because my thing is always like, if the connection was so good with the first guy, you wouldn't feel anything with the second Ooh. guy. Yeah, I think that, that's, that's just where I'm at. So if that happened to me, I would have to be like, hey, listen, just ran into someone, yada, yada. I think I'm going to like hang out with him quick one, two. Like obviously depending on where you're at with the individual that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. But I think that to speak to the rosters, I think that it's great if you're using it as a way to figure out what you like and what you don't like. I know a lot of people say that, that, you know, this is a great way for me to figure out what I like and what I don't like. And I mean... Like, there are other ways I feel like you could find out what you like and what you don't like in a person. Well, yeah, by, by just purely dating the old-fashioned way. Like, you could still do that. You no, know, you don't. It's not to say that, like, you can't be talking to multiple people if you're single and you're, you know, in your 20s. The 20s are exploration. The right. 20s are dating. Chaos. Nobody, none of us know what the fuck is going on mm -hmm. or what the fuck we're doing. 100%. So... You know, it's also part of, like, I guess, our culture. We're all going out and just hitting up guys and seeing whoever's free and just fucking really. I guess that that's 
like to be like to be honest to be honest like the reason why rosters and rotations began or like why i had when i was like oh like this is so much fun there's so many options and so many things and like blah 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 but then it, that runs its course so fucking quickly because i check i like to check myself and i think that's important if you have a roster or rotation check yourself because it check yourself. because there are lines that you're not going to see when you're so into it and you're so obsessed with it and like the ego gets involved and you're getting on a high and you think like oh my god all these people want me and i'm so wanted and i'm like you know what I mean? What's it's a like, high. It's, it's a like, high. It's like, um, I feel like a hot commodity right now. Like, yeah. I just feel like, you know what I mean? Which is fine and fair, especially if you came in a long relationship. Like, this is new and you get excited. But check yourself and be like, okay, like, why is it that I'm excited about this? Chances are it's just like an ego boost. Check yeah. yourself. What is the point? What is the end goal? What is my game plan? Like, how long do I want to do this? There has to be an it's expiration exactly. date. Exactly. I think that it's also important to understand what you want from dating at that moment, Period. right? Yeah. So, like, if you are just dating to fuck, you know that you can date and talk to just one or two guys and just be fucking, like, wait, wait, one person. Wait, wait, do you guys know that? Because I feel like a lot of people don't A lot that. of people don't because... Um, and here's my personal bigger issue with girls that like talk about dating that, you know, like want to hype like one night stands or like sleeping around and like all this stuff. And I'm all for girls fucking whenever, however, and whoever the fuck they want on their time, 110%. But, um, let's not use like the creation of Samantha Jones, who we all fucking love because she was a fucking rock star. Um, to, to just be like kind of dirty, to be honest with you. And I'm not saying that girls having sex is dirty, fuck no. But I think a lot of girls are twisting that character, her character and trying to use it as a way to like, look at me, like I'm such a boss. I'm like so powerful and it's yeah. just like, it's the opposite because you don't know who you are. I think that the reason why it worked for Samantha was because she was a boss. She's a grown ass she woman. She was a grown ass woman. She knew her shit. She knew what the fuck she wanted. She knew what she didn't want. She explored, she was with girls, she was with guys, she entertained a relationship at one point, but Samantha returned to what she knew and who she was ultimately in the end. And I think that's where all of us girls want to be. But a lot of us are doing it wrong. Yeah, you want to, you want to make, you want to feel like you have power in your decisions and that you're, you know, it, it's your choice as it should be through and through. However, and like. This is something that I went through too, where I was very spiteful towards men if I'm being really honest and vulnerable right now. And I was using like fucking around having sex. Like I'm going to fuck you and I'm going to leave. And like, I'm going to do it when I want to. And like, fuck you and I'll fuck you and I'll never speak to you. Like, you know, that kind of behavior that is honestly is what is fed online and in this day and age where it's yeah. just like, that's a boss ass bitch. Like fuck him and leave it. Fuck, like, fuck but, him, get a brick and but, dick. But hold up, hold up. Like, you know that the only dick? reason, yeah, you, the only reason why you're doing that is because you need that little ego boost. You need that, like, you feel like you're lying to yourself. Honestly, that's what it is. I yeah. was lying to myself, telling myself that was a boss ass move, but don't fucking lie to yourself and don't pretend like you don't go home and you're sitting there feeling a little bit eh about it because that's what happened to me. I'd be like, ooh, yeah, I just fucked him and this and that, move on, yeah, whatever. Because it's just, it's so, honestly, it's weak. It's fucking weak. You because know? you can get that satisfaction from meeting a person, enjoying their company, building that sexual chemistry and connection to them, yeah. seeing what they're about, and then having amazing and having sex. It, yeah, and, 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 and having it be chill and just having it be just that. Yeah. Um, I think that, like, a lot of girls like to speak to, like, the power and, like, taking their power back. And I think that we all should do that. But I think that we should come to an understanding of what it is that we want and who we are and also understanding like misogyny and like the patriarch patriarchy and like capitalism and all of these like big concepts that affect women so so much and I feel like Samantha like you know Sex and the City she really did she understood all those concepts and she used them for like kind of like the right reasons. And she was like, I'm not gonna let anybody, as none of us should, let anybody shame you for having sex with whoever the fuck you want, you can. But I think a lot of girls are distorting it because of information that other girls are feeding them about just fucking, just do this, just do that. Because like you said, like when you look at yourself in the mirror at night, like how do you feel about yourself? Do it for the right reasons, check yourself, make sure that, you know what, I'm fucking, Joe Schmo and his fucking brother and I'm happy about it and it's exactly what I want to do and I'm doing it in a respectful manner and I'm not doing it just because I'm spiteful or I'm insecure or I'm angry exactly. towards men exactly. or whatever the fuck it is like you're so much better than that and I think that that's what it comes down to like once I realize like I don't want to say my worth but like you know I I've grown a lot in the past few months yeah. I think you know going from like really traumatic relationships and 
I've gone to the point where I was just like, you know what? Like me being this like, ooh, I want to fuck around, like mm, casual dating, and like, oh, I can do it, and like not have feelings. Like it got to the point where I was just like, but it's even like, wake up, you're not doing it for the reasons that you're lying to yourself that you're doing it for. You're selling yourself on this like badass bitch like narrative, right. but that's not really it. Right. Like you know that it's coming from a place of hurt or distraction or like I need to get out of my system or I need to do something or whatever it is. Like honestly, I think the distraction and yeah. that's a big wake up call. And if you're able to be real and raw, raw and honest with yourself, that's when you gain your power. Not when you're going and fucking yeah. and adding people to your fucking little black book at the end of the night. Online casual sex seems like it's so easy. These girls are like, oh my God, like just got dick or like got this. And it's like casual sex is not as easy as a lot of girls are portraying it to be on Instagram. So it's like, it's, it's really not super easy for everybody to do because not everybody is built that, that casual or just right, that free, right? right? Yes, so yes. like, especially with women and society and what we're told and how we're raised and depending on like your household and like all these other factors, like you don't know if you're, if casual sex is gonna be something that works out for you the way it's working for maybe the girls online that you're seeing is what yes. I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, no, I get it, I get it. It's not for everyone, bottom line. I think also there's like a sense of rebellion. Do you know what I mean? Like, like oh, because I don't wanna be a girl, like I don't need to like settle down and have kids or like I don't, I just got a relationship, I don't need to be in one, like whatever, I'm gonna go fuck around because like that's what all guys do and like why can't I do that? Like, yeah. I feel like there's a sense of rebellion and it's taken out of context. Like you should be able to do whatever the fuck it is that you wanna do, but make sure it's 100% what you want to do. Right. And I think it gets really difficult, especially being young, impressionable, online, all that stuff. And nobody wants to admit that they're young and impressionable and like, oh my God, like whatever. And literally everybody, we're still young and we're impressionable. We're still young and impressionable. Right. Like we still have, yes. like, you know how our minds change all the time, perspectives change. Like I went from like, oh, I'm so down to have a million one guys on my roster. And now I'm like, I literally don't want any of that. Like I yeah. don't, I don't. Sometimes I want to talk to you one guy at a time. Yeah, you want to break, right? Yeah. And here's the thing, like talking to, multiple guys and like having that rotation or that roster for however long was like what you needed to realize like yeah this is this is not how i want to date right because so, like, i was being critical though because and and you know if i was on that mindset where i was still very spiteful and i didn't do the healing and i didn't work on myself and i didn't spend time with myself i feel like yeah i might have continued that to be right. honest with you right because the only the only reason why i had that wake-up call because i'm very critical with myself i'm like okay but like why are you doing this like be attentive to your patterns even because I fell into like really bad patterns because I wasn't tapped in like we always say and I wasn't being critical. So I was doing things to, right. to make the time go by to, you know, try right, to exactly. Exactly. You have to come to that realization on, on your own, mm -hmm. right? And you yes, have to yes. be holding yourself accountable because mm -hmm. like your best friend's not gonna be able to do it. Your mom's not gonna be able to do it. Like nobody else is going to be able to do that for you. So you need to really try to check yourself and be on top of like, hey, what do I want? Is this like kind of fulfilling me? Like, do you feel good? That, do I want this? That's the word that was just about to come out of my mouth. Fulfilling. Like, I've noticed that me talking to three, four guys at a time and seeing them and whatever is not at all as fulfilling as seeing one guy and speaking to one guy and having a really great connection and really good yeah. conversation. I'm not saying we have to date. I'm not saying we're getting married. And I'm not exactly, saying it's serious. Exactly. 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 You still get the perks of, and I'm, we're not trying to convince anyone of anything. Like you do, you fucking yeah, do. Do you? But uh, but honestly, like for me, that's where I've gotten to being like I don't say an ex player, but but being on that mindset of like kind of like yeah. the typical like you know whatever. I I change because I feel like I want something fulfilling. And it doesn't have to be a relationship. It can yeah. be a fling ting situation and it can be fulfilling. Why the fuck do I need to waste my fucking time and energy <laughs> just on like thing, seven mediocre guys? Something. Just because I'm dating more intentionally and like, yes, you are the person that I'm interested in at the moment, this could expire in a month, okay? And you I think know. that we're yeah. both cool with that. Like, are we, we're cool, we're gonna let it run its course and then we'll, we'll, we'll say see. our goodbyes and then I'll move on to whoever is next in my chapter and my journey for me. But again, I think it just makes everything so much better when the connections are genuine and fruitful and you're giving what you need to give to stimulate that connection. And that makes sex better. That makes the hangouts better. The energy transfer is good. I just think that there's a lot more pros when we date a little bit more intentional, but that's not for everybody. I think be mindful of what you want and how you want to date and what makes you feel good, right? I think that's the most important. What do you, what do you want? Like genuinely feel good. Genuinely feel good. You know what I mean? If a roster makes you feel good and you've been critical with yourself 
and you listen to us, then good for you. <laughs> have your roster, have your moment, do your fun, get yo dick, girl. We love to see it. Of course. Okay, guys, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, follow this podcast, rate it five beautiful stars. Also, we have an Instagram at your block underscore you are.